After Beeper Mini launched, Apple patched the exploit that was being used to send iMessage on Android. Uh, over the weekend, the ability to use Beeper Cloud for iMessage was restored, and now Beeper Mini is working. Uh, currently, you'll need to manually download and install the updated Beeper Mini APK, uh, but the company has also halted subscriptions. Uh, I believe it much clearly. Uh, I believe that today is working to D Beeper Mini. Uh, we should appear uh, the new face of Apple game in Beeper Mini. Uh, we didn't give a few days on the news hit. Apple responded to The Verge, uh, stating that it took steps to protect our users by blocking techniques that exploit fake credentials to gain access to iMessage. Uh, despite Apple confirming that it actually stopped Beeper Mini from working, that didn't stop Beeper from working through the weekend to try and find a workaround. Uh, first ability to use iMessage via Beeper Cloud was repaired, and as of this morning, Beeper Mini is apparently back up and running. In a blog post, Beeper co-founders Eric Michikowski and Brad Murray share quite a few details about everything that's happened over the past few days. The post also includes uh, a link to download and install the APK. Uh, for, for the latest version, um, as it's still going through some final testing before submitting the update to the Google Play, and even because it's... Uh, even after the update is installed, uh, there are a few key differences between this new version and the one that launched last week, namely uh, to use iMessage on Beeper. Uh, Mini, you'll need to sign in using an Apple ID. Uh, currently, phone number registration is not working yet, but the company is currently working on a fix for this. Um, this uh, the second major change is that Beeper is now free to use as things have been a bit chaotic and we're not comfortable subjecting paying users to this. This is the right move. Uh, as it seems that Beeper is preparing for the cat and mouse game with Apple to continue and to remain as transparent as possible. The blog post goes on to explain what happened and respond to the statement Apple provided to The Verge. Beeper states that it took steps to deregister all phone numbers associated with Beeper Mini and we sent push notifications to all users, updating them on the situation. Additionally, Beeper states that has reached out but has not heard anything directly from Apple. The, uh, the final section of the blog post claims that uh, Beeper Mini uh, made communication between Android and iPhone users more secure. It also aims to uh, provide a bit of reasoning behind uh, why uh, using traditional SMS messages is less secure and how Beeper Mini um, managed to fix this problem. Um, it's also noted that the underlying connection method is open source for anyone to review. That said, Beeper also promises to take that dedication to security and privacy even further. I said less. Well, we... Uh, in doing so, the company's offering Apple a bit of an olive branch by offering to share the entire Beeper Mini code base with a mutually agreed upon third-party security research firm. Additionally, Beeper Mini would consider adding a pager emoji to metadata on all messages sent via Beeper Mini. And we can't help but feel as though the last one's a little tongue-in-cheek. Especially considering Google's iPager video is part of the company's Get the Message campaign. But given Apple's previously response to the Beeper Mini launch, we can't help but brace ourselves for an interesting cat and mouse situation, especially after Apple said it would continue to make updates in the future to protect our users.